Hello everyone, my name is Liu Yi. I come from the Hong Kong Polytechnic University. Today I'm here to talk about my research Chiron, an incentive-driven long-term optimization for edge learning by hierarchical reinforcement mechanism. Recently, we have witnessed deep learning achieved unprecedented success in various tasks such as smart health, self-driving, and multimedia services. In order to achieve a high quality model, a large number of the training data are expected to be fed to the machine learning model. However, in most applications, the training data are generated by resource constrained devices. Due to the limited network bandwidth and the privacy concerns, it would be impractical to upload all raw data to the cloud for centralized model training. Thanks to the rapid development of edge learning, edge learning allows distributed edge nodes to train the machine learning models collaboratively without sharing their raw data. And meanwhile, saves the network bandwidth and reduce response latency. While participating in edge learning tasks, edge nodes will consume their own resources, such as battery, computing power, and data sets. Therefore, an edge node would not be interested in voluntarily participating in the edge learning unless it receives the satisfying bonus to compensate its resource consumption. The basic framework of the incentive mechanism for edge learning is illustrated as follows. First, the server distribute bonus to workers and then the workers to determine, determine their resource based on the given bonus. Finally, the server got the aggregated model and then determine the next round's bonus. A few of researchers have studied the incentive mechanism for edge learning, but they all have two limitations. First, they only consider short-term myopia optimization of a single round. And second, they cannot guarantee the quality of the final machine learning model. In our work, we first consider to combine the algorithm performance into the optimization goal design and give optimal strategy analysis. Here is our problem formulations. We did strategy analysis for both sides, the edge node side and the parameter server side. For the edge node, the utility function is about the delivered bonus and the energy consumption. As you can see here, PIK is the um, price, the bonus price for a single frequency of the CPU. And if you multiply them together, this is the income of the ith node in case round. And minus the energy consumption, which will be the ith edge node's utility. In order to maximize it, we have to Mm, the edge node need to adjust their frequency, zeta. And mm, because there is a energy consumption function for every edge node, so they can easily obtain their optimal mm, computing frequency. As we computed here, there is, this is the result, and the der derivation is clearly stated in the paper. So, it is easy to calculate the optimal price, optimal um, strategy for the edge node, but it's not easy for calculate to calculate the optimal price, op optimal strategy for the parameter server. As you can see here, the utility function of parameter server is the final accuracy minus the total training time. But due to the characteristic opacity of the federative learning, we cannot directly compute the optimal pricing solution for parameter server. Hence, we applied experiments-driven DIL methods. It, we have to notice that there is a total budget limitations for the um, parameter servers. Mm. And the total price should, shouldn't be larger than the total budget. Okay. Due to the um, limitations of the budget, the sum of the price in each round has a significant impact on the edge learning system's long-term performance. So as a result, we designed an exterior DIL agent to determine the total price in each round according to the historical training information. As you can see in our reward design, that the reward of the exterior agent is uh, the accuracy increase minus the training time, the in training time in each round. And if you add the in one episode, add it all together, and you will notice that added together, it is the utility of the uh, parameter servers. So the exterior agent is responsible for the long-term optimization, and the inner agent is responsible for the short-term optimization because 
as you can see in the graph below, in each round, every edge node has a training time, but the round time is determined by the slowest edge node because the fast edge node have to wait for the slowest, slowest edge node and they can aggregation. After aggregation, they can move to another, uh, another round. So there is an idle time waste for each edge node. But uh, we have proved in our paper that this kind of idle time waste can be avoided by adjust the proportion of the different, uh, the proportion of the bonus among the different um, edge nodes. So that the inner agent is designed to learn, the, learn to decide the proportion and try to minimize the sum of the idle time. So that's the design of our inner agent. And the inner agent state is the outer agents, is the exterior agents this action. So they are connected together and they all communicate with the environment, get their response, get their reward. So they are training at the same time online. So they can meet the convergence at the same time. And we did three pairs of the, we did three groups of the experiments on three different data sets. And all the experiments shows the, our model's superiority. We can achieve higher accuracy and um, training more runs and with the time efficiency nearly 100%, which means there is nearly no um, idle time in each training run. Besides, we also did some scalability experiments. If you add the edge nodes to 100, we, our mechanisms still reach um, the convergence, but the, our baseline, the one DIL based approach is already collapsed. And we can still uh, achieve 90% accuracy and 70% time efficiency. And conclusion, in conclusion, this is the first work uh, to design the incentive driven edge learning, which takes the learning algorithm performance into the incentive mechanism design. And we proposed a hierarchical DIL based incentive mechanism for the edge learning. Without knowing any prior information of the edge nodes, it can effectively learn the optimal pricing strategy of the primary server and achieve the long-term sustainability of the edge learning under a limited budget. We implement our algorithm in an edge learning simula simulator developed from scratch and evaluated under a variety of edge learning tasks. Our experimental results have further demonstrated the superiority of our approach. And this is the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening.